What is going on guys? Hey, it's your boy Manny B here with the Skinny Water Boys. Thank y'all so much for tuning in today. So I got a lot of feedback, uh, good feedback about that last uh, cast and catch I did with that Spro Rat from uh, Bass Pro Shop. So I went ahead and thought about it. I was like, you know what? Why not just show you guys how I like to throw the rat and kind of walk you through on how I think the best way to fish the rat. So let's get into that. And if you want to see more tutorials, let me show you what I'm throwing. More tutorials, hey, let me know in the comments down below. I don't mind showing. Look at that. Spro rat broke the tail off. I think it swims better without the tail. But hey, you never know. So guys, stay tuned. Hope y'all enjoy this video. And let's get it. Guys, first things first. Let me show you what I am throwing it on. I'm throwing on a McCain Beast Rod 7.6. It's probably it's like a 1 to 6 ounce or 2 to 6 ounce uh, weighted rod. Fast tip. It's got a really fast tip on it and a stout stout backbone you want a fast tip whenever you're throwing something with treble hook baits glide baits it all uh, does the same thing basically you're like setting a hook like on a jerk bait crank bait all those jazz but just bigger so you're sweeping the hook set and i got it on 50 pound power pro braid Corrado 200 dude beast reel i like to throw it so First, before I show you how I throw it, I like, try to think like a rat. Not like a 6'9 rat, but like a rat, uh, a rodent. Any type of rodent bait on the surface. Uh, how do they swim? How do they swim correlating according, like, correlating to the structure around them, the land? So typically, you see a rat, they'll come out and then they'll be swimming real tight to cover, really par like parallel angles. Whenever somebody, people ask me a lot of questions on how to throw bigger baits and they're not getting bit, they're wondering why it's angles is the game. When I say that, you gotta think about angles. Parallel, 45, and whenever I see a rat, either I'll see them cutting across the whole river or swimming just slowly along the side of the river because they know there's predators out here that want to eat them. And that will eat them. So, if you make you match the hatch, basically, so this rat basically just swimming along the shoreline, swimming parallel to everything around it. You could even have it in the middle of a lake on a big piece of structure, and you see, and you throw it over there. It could just be this disturbance, and they just want. Oh, oh, there we go, right there, right there, guys. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? That's like a four, maybe five. That's a five all day. Get in here. There you have it, boys. Hey, that's how you throw a rat. <laughs> so I was throwing it parallel to this cover over here and just bringing it out like a normal normal bait and boom. This dude just chomped it. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh. He almost hooked me for quick. That's like a three. Hey, let's get it on the on the board though. Come on. This three and a half pounder, 20 inches. See you later, old girl. There she goes. Alright guys, hey, that's a wrap for the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all learned something from the here. Uh, that's how I like to throw the rat and mostly majority of all my swim baits. I throw pretty similar to that situation. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. If you want to see any other type of baits being thrown like that, hey, let me know. I appreciate y'all watching. Until the next episode of Manny B and the Skinny Water Boys.